Hello everyone, I'm Catechus, and today we will be continuing our guided walkthrough for Breath of Fire 2. Last episode, Rand's mom bullied us into farm work, so we took out our frustrations on the Isle of Giants and gained a lot of levels. This episode, we will go over our new gains and I guess return to Rand's mom before we get more chores. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Alright, where are we at? There we are. Ryu, level 34. He is now an old man. <laughs> As you can see here, our party is Ryu, Kat, Rand, and Nina. Close to my final team. And we should go over our recent gains. So, Ryu, you know, doesn't really gain anything magic-wise, but his stats got pretty decent, because he gained quite a few levels. <laughs> Cat, also, no new spells, but her stats are starting to look pretty good. Well, maybe not her defense when compared to Ryu. Then again, Cat is a glass cannon and all, so oh, she's gonna get hurt a lot. Rand gained quite a few stats himself and levels, but he did learn new spells. So Rand, as you saw last time, learned 8.0. He also learned Renew, finally, and Heal, so he can basically heal any bad status instead of just poison and zombie. Nina also got some gains. Her wisdom. Man, she's a genius. <laughs> but spell-wise, she learned quite a few as well. So you saw she learned Angel, a holy attack. She also learned Death at level 28, which kind of made her OP on the Isle of Giants. And she learned Hail which is a really good ice attack to all enemies. Also, Bo got some uh, good levels there. He's up to 30. I don't, I don't think I'm going to level him anymore, and I'm going to stick to Rand because, yes, Bo's a better healer, but Rand is a better tank overall. He did learn new spells. So, Bo learned Defense Up X, which is a good defense up for whole party and Cure 4, which is the full heal for a single person. It's really nice. But anyway, so to continue the story, I'm going to swap in Spar real quick. I did not level grind Spar. She's more or less just going to be our uh, warp person for a while. Swap her in randomly. There we go. But before we head out, we gotta restock items, or at least I do, because I, I use quite a bit. So let's uh, throw some stuff in the bank. Got a lot of junk here. Oh, uh, I should mention, the enemies on the Island of Giants drop Extract and Van Extract and Charms pretty frequently. Make sure to have at least two Extracts in your inventory. We're gonna need them for a annoying boss fight coming up. But in the meantime, I'm going to get rid of these stat items, these old weapons, don't need any of this armor, don't need a plate. Oh, I could have actually kept that help BL, you know, but oh well. Yeah, as you can see, I got quite a few extracts. I did not mean to throw in there the help BL. <laughs> Alright, so I need eight health BLs and three life potions, it seems. Alright, let's get some of that stuff. Somehow, I thought this was going to be a lot more expensive. Now, I don't need all these items for this episode. It's just, hey, we got pretty flush with cash after all that level grinding, so we might as well, you know, have a full inventory. All right, now that that's done, um, there is one more thing we can kind of do before going to farm town. Right over here, there's a wise tree next to Gunts. Let's check it out. Yeah, ignore the dungeon music. Have Spar talk to the tree. Okay, they have different faces. Good to know. That one does not look attractive. You know, there's a girl called Aichichi who researches all types of machinery at Gunts, which is close by. Is it strange for a wise tree to talk like this? Yeah, 
Yeah, it is. Okay, so what he's hinting at is something we've already done. Now, if you remember in episode 17, when we got the whale and we could travel around and all that fun stuff there, we went and got Aichichi and pushed forward the best ending by investigating the well in Township, going to Guns, getting Aichichi by talking to her about the well and machine, and then going back to Guns to talk to her in the well. This is when the game wants you to do that. I just did it ahead of time because, you know, I'm forgetful. <laughs> But now that that's out of the way, we're going to have Spar warp us all the way back to Farm Town. And yeah, Spar is kind of just going to be a warp mule from now on. And we can definitely just remove her shaman too. That's totally okay. I would recommend giving that shaman to Nina, so she's both fast and wiser. <laughs> so for now, I'm going to have Ryu, Kat, Rand, and Nina. Eventually, once we complete Nina's story, I'm going to swap Blue in for her. But she's fine for now. Oh yeah, uh, this is Rand's story, so he can be the one that gets yelled at by his mom. <laughs> Let's head on into the house. And she's not actually in the house here. She's out in the field, but really she's not, but the story progression is. And that makes sense because, yeah, she's not here, but there's the uh, paladin again. So let's give him a chat. Hey, where's Daisy? Ah, Rand, this is a letter from Daisy. I am having the Ava church built here. I am going to the grand church. May the light of St. Ava be with you. It is no doubt Daisy's handwriting. Bro, what? Daisy understands now how wonderful the Ava church is. And that's why we are building the church here. Okay, really? No way. <laughs> There's no way my mom would believe in a religion like yours. What have you done to her? Why is it getting dark? Please stop accusing us. Daisy became a believer of St. Ava, that's all. Or do you have proof that we did something? You Okay, first off, if you say that, you're guilty, alright? I don't know who you are, but if you talk like that, you're guilty. And yeah, so Rand's gonna 1v1 this paladin. This is why you want at least two extracts, because they're pretty evenly matched. All right, we're just gonna have Rand attack. Yeah, he's gonna defense up himself, which is super irritating. And we're just gonna bonk each other. Okay, dude. <laughs> How much defense you need? So, yeah, I don't know why he's so defensive right now. Usually when I play, um, he's very offensive instead of defensive and hitting Rand. If Rand ever gets down to like 120 health, throw an extract on him and fully heal him and then keep going. At level 30-ish, it should be just one extract, but who knows? Sometimes they get crits. There we go. Yeah, so he's starting to chunk our health off. One more hit and we'll heal. Oh, we got a special. Oh, I was hoping we'd take him out in, you know, one, one shot. So, extract time. Because Rand's not quick enough. If he was quicker, this would go a lot easier. Alright, finally bonked him to death. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, Father Ray. These people are being difficult. <laughs> Is that what you call it? What? You're the ones taking over someone else's land. <laughs> Ryu's just like, I don't want to be involved in this. Look, I have been told that Daisy donated this land after identifying with the teachings of St. Ava. That's right, and this man is mistaken. Mistake? Do you have a lot of nerve. <laughs> Stop it. I have a responsibility to protect the believers of our church. 
If you continue to act this way, you will have to deal with me. Alright, everyone's getting sweaty at that. Interesting. You're just another servant to a dumb god. Saint, Saint Ava is not a dumb god. So, someday you will also understand. Well, I don't understand. I don't want to understand. Now, get off my mother's land. That's a lot of... That's a lot of sweat there. I don't intend to continue with this misunderstanding. <laughs> However, someday, we will understand each other. Days closer than you think. Yeah, something doesn't seem right. You guys know my mother isn't the type of person to change her mind. Just like that, right? Not without field work. Do you think the Ava Church people took her by force? Okay, so, honest, you have to say yes. If you say no, you're just gonna hurt the dragon meter with him, so just say yes. Oh, you agree. Well, we've got to check them out and their headquarters and about St. Ava Church. I think the church is the problem. The churches in the other towns are being deceived. Don't you think so? <laughs> Everyone's just, like, confused. But I haven't thought about how to get there. Now, what could we do? If we could fly, it could be easy. Yeah, so... That... Uh, Alright, first off... Ugh, Rain messed up the party. Dude, you're not the pro tag, alright? Get this in the uh, right order here. There we go. So now, this is the uh, second time that somebody talked about flying. Because remember, Aichichi in the well in Township talked about flying and that people of Windia used to be able to. Well, if you have ran talk to uh, the townspeople, they have new things to say. The Grand Church is on the other side of the East Ocean, right? There seems to be no way to get there unless you can fly. Yeah, I know. How about you? They have a church is kind of fashionable. Namanda, on the other hand, is old-fashioned. Okay, you, maybe you don't talk anymore. How about you? If we work hard on the garden, our prayers will be heard. Heave ho! Useless. Alright, lastly, what about you? What, do you? what do you got to say? I wonder how the Ava church people cross the ocean. They don't have wings like the people of Windia. And there you go. There's the uh, last hint, kind of, the game's going to give you to go to Windia. So you can go to Ava Church. But before we do that, we can um, head on over to Namanda and try to get a uh, spell that I always fail at getting. The Boombada spell. God oh, darn it. Hey, oh, well, never mind. Oh, oh, I accidentally scrambled our team. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. We're just gonna take these guys out real quick. And realize I fat fingered a new formation, which really isn't a big deal. I mean, it's gonna slightly adjust their offense and defense, but not really enough to make a difference. Ah, oh, and a cold breath, man. All right, gonna fix that. Because remember, there, there's really no need to um, change formation. You can stay in normal and beat the game just fine. But you don't have to. The option's always there. Oh, that's a lot of eyeballs that I don't like looking at. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do hail. Why not? Let's let's at least show it off. So that was the normal version. When that spell crits, little wolf pups follow behind the big one. It's adorable. I love it when there's like a difference visually when something crits or not. Honestly, it's kind of depressing that newer age games don't 
think outside the box like that and add in special effects for crits or different people casting it, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a player. But also, I love that uh, even though Nina has the fast shaman, Cat's still faster. That's how fast Cat is. Oh my god. And she's only gonna get faster. There we go, poked out those eyes. Should probably heal. Yeah, everyone's sorta of hurt here. Uh, yeah, cure two. I think it's time to pull it out. No, you guys get gear one. You are not hurt enough. Okay, good enough. Now, you can use Ran to roll up in a ball and travel around the world map, don't forget. It's just if you hit an obstacle like a wall or something and bounce out of it, more likely than not you're going to be forced into a fight. But anyway, now that we're back at Namanda, we want to go to the meditation and or torture room. <laughs> This is a very brave beehead. Oh my goodness. And dead. Now that room's right here to the left. And what we're gonna notice is there's only one bell ringer this time. What shall I do? It's time for prayer, but my buddy isn't here. Would you take my buddy's place and ring the bell? This is the way it's done. He's going to play the song for us again, similar to what it was before. But now we have to also push the buttons. And I'll put on the screen here kind of uh, what I found in a guide that's very helpful on when to push the buttons. Because he talks about red and yellow buttons, which the Super Nintendo in America doesn't have. That's Super Famicom. It's purple and other purple is what we have. But he's talking about the A and B buttons. I have literally no rhythm and have never done this before. So let's try it. I have no idea what just happened. Yeah, so red and yellow buttons don't really matter. Yeah, didn't work. Go, f go figure, it didn't work. So, since I didn't get it, I'll at least go over what Boombata is in case you're more musically inclined. It's a spell that one of the characters in your team can learn, which will knock off half of all monsters' health during a fight. However, this is down to the monster's susceptibility, which is a different score that they have, a uh, type of stat, and it really doesn't work on a lot of endgame monsters or bosses for that matter, or at least the ones that are remaining. So in the end, it's really not needed or helpful of any sort it's more of just hey i completed everything in the game anyway uh one last thing to point out in case you didn't have uh, of course there's a fight oh barracuda all right well we're just gonna have everyone attack maybe i'll get a tiger sword probably not though because i'm not what the kids call lucky no, no, not Nina. No. Oh, cool. and the egg beater, too. Of course. Why not? Especially since no one's countering. Oh, never mind. Right, he's countering. See, Boombada is nowhere near as useful as Chop Chop. <laughs> Forever Chop Chop. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's just take him out. And death by Nina. Eh, no sword. Dang it. So anyway, what I was trying to say is if by chance you did not donate 2,000 gold to Namanda 
uh, like I showed in the last episode, do it now. We're closing in on the time where you can't do this anymore, and you may miss out on the Earth Shaman. So you just got to walk up to this box, donate 100 gold 20 times. There is no alert or ding or anything when you achieve 2,000 gold. You just have to keep track of it. You can donate over 2,000 gold in case you lost count or something. So just keep donating. After the level grind, you should have more than enough money. Just another heads up. Don't want to miss out on the Earth Shaman. Now, all right, with that out of the way, we are now done in Namanda. Kind of forever. Well, that is unless you want to grind for a tiger sword. Good luck if you want. <laughs> I'm not. I never get any of those cool drops. But all right, so what we have to do now is make our way to Windia. But I don't have anyone in the team that can warp yet. Well, right now. Oh, cool. Nina leveled up. Love it. But we should probably heal a little bit. There we go. Too many glass cannons on our team. But yeah, so I'm going to head back to Farmtown, pick up Spar, and warp over to uh, Windia. I will see you there in Windia. Ah, Windia. Long time no see. <laughs> uh, we'll be here for a while, though. Don't you worry. Things are going to get real dramatic in the next episode. First, got to put our team back to the way I want it. However, because the story gets pretty uh, crazy here in Windia, we're going to call it quits for now. So this has been part 28 of our Breath of Fire 2 guided walkthrough where Rand spent his afternoon yelling at the church. Stay tuned for the next episode as we learn to fly. If you liked the episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.